Hello, hello, hello. I just wanted to make a short video and talk a little bit about a little bit about insomnia. I've been suffering from insomnia for um, for at least seven years or longer, and uh, I've tried pretty much everything. When I used to go to counseling, uh, she told me, you know, don't leave, uh, leave the TV out, read books. I really tried everything she told me and nothing worked. So, so on the end, she told me, Miss Brown, you really did your homework. You tried everything. Just just get up, watch your favorite show, whatever you can do. So um, I go sometimes a week or two where I actually can sleep pretty good. Uh, but then there is nights again where it just happens again. And I had such a night on... Uh, from uh, Sunday to Monday and I was up until five in the morning and I used to get really frustrated. I mean, I still get frustrated when I have it, but a friend of mine uh, who suffers from um, insomnia told me many years ago, Connie, remem just remember you don't work, you're retired, so you can sleep in in the mornings. And, she, and I thought to myself, you know what? Uh, she's right, and I also I tried, uh, I tried sleeping pills. My doctor had prescribed me sleeping pills when my younger sister passed away. Uh, suddenly, I had really trouble sleeping, and I think I took sleeping pills for three months because my doctor said not sleeping because I would be up three nights, then sleep one night from exhaustion, and then be up three nights. But uh, like with most sleeping pills, you get used to them after a while. Then I told my doctor they didn't work anymore. And she prescribed me a little bit more. But then when so many side uh, side effects, you know, and you get used to them. So I stopped them abruptly one night and it was really, really hard. And um, um, yeah, and I was diagnosed with uh sleep apnea and I got a CPAP machine I thought that well it helps a little bit but uh, I never was able to get completely rid of insomnia and insomnia in itself it's already hard when you deal with it what is hard too when people sometimes understand why you feel tired during the day you know or why you have to take a nap or why you can can't make it to um uh, uh, early get togethers and uh, I mean when I was in my 30s and 40s I could get away with sleeping two three hours but now with 63 it's just really hard and I noticed that I have to take naps more often because I'm so exhausted I just can't keep my eyes anymore and sometimes there's things I can't do early in the mornings anymore sometimes I force myself to get up and do them and I have a little bit coffee even though coffee is not good for me because I have uh, some stomach issues so but every once in a while that's the only thing that works for me so this is just for people who don't have problems with sleeping they have a little bit more understanding about those of uh, for those of us who really struggle with insomnia um, when we don't do things in the day or, or we need to take a nap in the afternoon or sometimes can't make it to early get togethers is not because of laziness it's really because we just plain exhausted and um, I learned a lot of women I mean men too but I learned a lot of women in my friend circle uh, they have struggled with sleeping you know during pre-menopause menopause and um, I'm really t you know I think of all the women who have no choice but have to work because they're single or they have no one else to support them. My heart goes out to them when they can't sleep and then have to go to work. And I'm just really feeling blessed and I'm grateful that I can that I can sleep. And I try to make my doctor appointments around 12 or in the afternoon so um, I don't have to always get up early. So um, this is just uh, something I wanted to share about insomnia. It's, it's, it's not fun, but, you know, I live with it. I have been living with it for many years. And if I have to take a nap, I have to take a nap. It's just the way it is. And sometimes I have to say no to something early in the morning because I'm just too exhausted. 
Anyway, so have a have those of you who don't suffer, have a little bit understanding for those of us who um, suffer from chronic insomnia. Anyway, I hope you all have a pleasant day. Kisses and hugs from your German girl in America. Bye.